Hi guys, this is a tulip poplar and it's a great tree to have on your property. It is a water tree. It drinks about 50 gallons of water a day and um, it makes a great fodder tree. And today I am out gathering some seed pods. So um, I want to share that with you. And I also, if you will go all the way to the end of the video, I'm going to have some photos there for you to help you identify the tree in some various stages. Um, this is a tulip poplar. So um, let's go check out these seed pods. I'm sorry, I couldn't finish the video down in the woods. It's just impossible to hold the um, phone and dig around for the seed pods. But these are what the poplar seed pods look like. Now, most of the time when you find them, they're going to look like this. This is what they look like when they first fall. They're really heavy and they'll hit the ground like pow. <laughs> but um, it only takes a few days for them to dry out. And then they'll look like these. Um, these I gathered a couple of days ago. And these I gathered today. So sometimes you can find them laying on the ground and they're already already dried out. But anyway, I just wanted to um, show you guys this in case it's something that you were interested in doing. I, uh, I grew up next door to a big giant poplar, so it's a nostalgic tree for me. But after doing a bit of research, I found out that it's a fantastic fodder tree. My goats love it. I have a couple trees here that we had to cut down uh, when we first moved in. And they just, they ju it just grew back from the roots. This is before I realized what a great fodder tree it is. And so I've just been using it um, for my goats. But I found out too that this is a great plant for the rabbits. The rabbits can eat the poplar. They can chew the poplar sticks. Um, you know, the branches from the tree to help wear their teeth. It's a safe uh, safe tree for them to utilize and they can even eat these little seed pods you see this I came up on a bunny and he was chewing on this and he ran off and I picked the pod up did a bit of research yes the bunnies can eat the seed pods so I'm going to gather some for me to utilize to make my fodder tree row and I'm going to grab some for my bunnies for the winter time and maybe give it to them as a treat so anyway I just wanted to share this with you guys um, let's see if you guys can see how the, uh, the different little seed pods, how easy it is to pop them apart. Okay, here we go. And it'll just start to fall apart, but this is what the little individual seeds look like. So, as you can see here, I have quite a few. And I've gathered a few more today. I'm gonna, um, let these dry out so that I can use them for spreading the seeds. So, sorry this video is kind of a little bit all over the place. Um, I'm trying to multitask and I'm not doing a very good job of it. But I felt like this was something that it was important to share. And right now, while these pods are dropping, if any of you wanted to gather poplar seeds so that you could make yourself a tree fodder row, now's the time. So get out there and look for these little poplar pods. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I really do love talking to y'all. I appreciate it so much when you comment. And it gives me an opportunity to kind of get some feedback from you guys and everything. And I love that. So thanks so much for stopping by. And I'll catch you next time.